One of the best ways to look at AI, particularly chatbots like Claude and ChatGPT, is as a companion, as an assistant, someone who is there to take care of a little something while you work on the more important thing. And a lot of people don't necessarily get this uh, because when you have a true assistant, you're not just saying, hey, do this, and then you never talk to them again. You might bounce ideas off of them. You might say, hey, what about this? And then they'll give you a response and then you have a response and it can go back and forth and you have conversations with this person, right? And that is exactly what it should be like in ChatGPT or in Claude. And indeed, I believe this is one of the most important skills to figure out. And if you've been watching a couple of my recent videos where I actually go through and I start brainstorming a novella, then you'll see in those videos how I do this. But I'm going to show you what I mean by conversing with the AI and why that is such an important skill. And I'm going to show you an example right now. I have this prompt that I'm going to just paste into ChatGPT. We're going to use GPT-4 and say, I'd like to create a story based around the concept of a true working utopia. The story would actually be a collection of short stories showing slice of life glimpses of what a true utopia would look like. Before we can plan what they are, however, we need to establish what a real and working utopia would look like. Based on your knowledge, what are some things that would need to exist slash have or slash have to happen in order for a stable utopia to exist? Uh, I used this particular prompt because this is an idea I had forever ago. Um, that I thought was interesting. Like, how, how could you actually, what actually would a stable utopia look like? And is it even possible? And I thought that would be a fun thing to explore in fiction. Um, the hard part is getting it to be, to have some conflict. That's why it would be just kind of a slice of life sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, the reason I picked this idea is because it's an idea that needs exploration. That you can't just pull out of a hat and run with it. You need to really think about it, talk about it, that kind of thing. And if I had a real writing assistant, a real person sitting right next to me, I could talk to them and get their input and all of that. Uh, but we don't. I don't have an, a writing assistant. I have the AI. And so we're going to see what it says after I give it this little bit of input. All right. And the AI gave me this pretty good, decent look at what would be needed in order to happen um, in order to have a, a, ut a utopia. And one of the things that I see here while looking at it is like, yes, all of these things, if they existed, would mean we could live in a utopia. But some of them, like no crime or corruption, how on earth are you going to actually enforce that? And um, Or if you do have some crime and corruption in a utopia, how do you take care of it in such a way that it remains a utopia? And this is the kind of thing that, yeah, I don't know. Um, and so, uh, it, and it did give me a caveat here that said, it's important to note that these points reflect a generalized view of a utopia and there are many perspectives. For instance, some might argue a utopia would have no need for technical technological advancements if we had lived in harmony with nature, while others could argue the opposite. Remember, though, utopia is ideal, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, it says it may not be entirely attainable in reality. Okay. Let's assume that it is attainable in reality. All right. Which of the items you listed would be the most important thing that would have the greatest effect on making all of the other things possible. Yeah. And so now I'm asking it a follow-up question. The concept of utopia encompasses a broad range of inter interrelated factors and it's challenging to pinpoint a single element as the most crucial. However, some elements serve as a foundation for others. Among the points listed, I'd argue that the following three, when combined, could lay the groundwork for a functioning utopia. Education and wisdom. Okay, I agree with that. Equality. Sure. Although equality is really only possible with this third one. Technological advancement. The role technology 
of technology cannot be understated. In a utopia, technology would solve fundamental human problems and contribute to sustainability. It could pr provide abundant resources, advanced healthcare, and reduce the need for manual labor, thereby freeing up time for individuals to pursue their interests and maintain a high standard of li living. Uh, and not to get off topic here, but in my study of utopia, it does seem like this is the key factor. Every time we've seen advancements in technology, we've seen ourselves as a society grow a little bit closer to a utopian state. Uh, we're still far from it, obviously, but we're a little bit closer to that by comparison to where we were before. And it's mostly due to the rise in technology. Every rise in technology makes um, things that were pr previously only available to a privileged elite available to a much wider group of people. And we're seeing that now with AI happening right now, which is kind of why I've had this topic on my mind. Um, I feel like in, in a conceivable near future, we could have AI doing everything for us which would actually free up a lot of time and economic drain. And so, yeah, sorry to get off topic there, but this, I do agree, is a good thing. And so uh, let's say I wanted to explore this further. Let's explore number three. What kind of technology could account for... Um, the type of lifestyle that is needed in a utopia. For a utopia to exist, technology would likely need to address several key areas. Energy production, yes, 100%. Resource management, okay. Food production, yeah, we need to have some sort of like automated food production um, or at least significantly transformed housing healthcare working yeah so now it's just going through each of the major markets um but i agree with energy production as number one um but then here oh this is interesting decentralized and transparent ai systems could be used to manage social systems from resource allegation to conflict resolution with fairness and efficiency um could an ai hypothetically serve in a government position, thus eliminating the possibility of corruption. Hypothetically, an AI could be utilized in a government role, and in theory, this could help reduce corruption. AI doesn't have personal interests, emotions, or the desire for power. Which are some of the root causes of corruption in human-led governments? Moreover, AI can process vast amounts of data quickly and objectively, making it potentially very effective. Yada, yada, yada. However, there are several important caveats and challenges that need to be considered. Bias in AI, transparency, control and oversight, legal and ethical considerations, the human touch. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so all good things. And we could go on and on and on and on to just explore this topic further and you can see like I've already gotten a lot deeper just by asking it a few questions than I did with my initial question and so this is why this is a really important skill to master now there is another way you can do it and I'll get into that now um, with this prompt similar prompt uh, but instead of say pretend you are an expert economist with 30 years of experience and an extensive knowledge of economic books and papers I'd like to create a story based around the concept of a true working utopia, and you are going to help me figure this out. Be sure to ask questions before you answer in order to probe deeper. And then that's my prompt. So in this case, it's going to flip the script a little bit and start asking us questions. And now we can um, define the question from here. And so... Yeah, so it starts by giving me some questions like, what is your definition of a utopia? Are we considered a society that is ideal in all aspects, such as economic, social, political, and environmental? Or are we focusing primarily on the economic aspect? What kind of economic system does this utopia, utopia operate under? Capitalist, socialist, mixed economy, or something entirely new? 
What are the critical aspects of this utopia's economic success? Are we looking at things like wealth equality, high standard of living, and so on? And so you could go through and answer all these questions because my view of what a utopia is might be very different from what you might think a utopia is. And um, this will help you to narrow things down further in the same way, but kind of, uh, kind of flipped. So the AI is asking you questions and then it actually does a really good job of helping you narrow down the story. So I'm just going to answer the first one here. My definition of a utopia is a state of economic and social equality complete with most hard labor tasks taken care of automatically where people are free to work on what they want to work on no matter what the subject and have plenty of leisure time to spend with family and friends and just leave it at that thank you for your clarification it sounds like we're envisioning a society with advanced automation yes High levels of economic and social equality and a significant em emphasis on leisure and personal fulfillment. Let's build on this. Economic systems. This utopia would likely not fit into traditional categories such as capitalism or socialism. Rather, it would be a new form of economy that combines elements of both with the state ensuring a basic level of income and quality of life for all, but with room for individuals to pursue their interests and potentially earn more. Automation and labor, wealth equality. So it starts to go through all of the different things. And this is actually kind of getting me to a workable point that I could use in the, my story a lot faster than the first option. So you can do it both ways, but sometimes I find having it ask me questions is often a better way to go. This is especially true if you are using AI as a kind of tutor. If you wanted to tutor you in different types of learning or you know, learning how to write a book or something like that, you ask it to pretend to be, you know, an expert in that field. And then you ask it to ask you questions before it gives you information. And it's a really good way to turn it into a tutor. And it's also a good way to just go back and forth as if it was your assistant. And so that is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.